I have now removed four bolts on each corner. I've loosened up this part in order to get a good view for to the intermittent mechanism. Should be not so difficult. Okay, let's put it this way. Now, this is the intermittent mechanism. And that provides locking and unlocking of the large wheel. It's um, driven by another contract, directly driven by the rule gear system of the clock. And it um, only does do, do this. And then it re releases by the cam. So it's this will take about 45 minutes and then the cam is on its edge, it will release suddenly, like this. Now I speed it up. I introduced also a spring in order to uh, adjust the um, tension of the the mechanism. Otherwise, I should have um, chosen one uh, or uh, another hole. And that's pretty um it's a big difference. This rear really runs very smooth. You need this um spring just for the release of this little lever. You can see tends to go that direction and the believer gets in front of this small pole. Of course this drive belt just presses um, the axle with warm backwards. And of course, this spring is uh, the main uh, force. Really smooth, really smooth. No, uh, it's uh, carried by a four-hole coupling, and uh, and this. Three whole brackets.